Hi, it's Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at writing investigation questions for a relationship investigation. So these are some of the different things we need to have in our question. So we need to choose um, two numeric variables, one of which needs to be the response variable and one which is the explanatory variable. And I talk about the difference between these in another video. We also need to refer to the participants. So who is it that we've got the data on? Who have we collected data from? So it's different from the sample to population that we had with the comparisons um, and that we're going to focus on the participants, who are they? And we also need that word relationship because we're looking for a relationship between these two variables. So here's our explanatory in response. So our explanatory is looking at the variable we control and we can change. So, and our response is the one that we measure. So if I was thinking about a plant growing, I could control how much water a plant gets, and then I would measure how tall it grows. Okay, so explanatory would be the amount of water, and the height would be how high it grows. It would be our response. So our participants, they're the ones that we're testing or measuring. So here's an example. I wonder if there is a relationship, got that word relationship there, between a person's foot length, so their foot length is one of the numeric variables, and hand span, that's my second numeric variable, for, and then I've identified the participants, it's a konga at your school. Um, so that would be an investigation question that has all the different components we need in it. Thanks for watching.